Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you'll learn how to design concrete shear walls in RAM concrete. Our second step in our workflow within our RAM concrete shear wall module is to assign properties to our shear walls. This will include our wall design groups and section cuts. We'll also assign bar pattern templates, wall panel priority, and coupling beams if they are applicable to your model. The first property we will assign is our wall design groups. So if you go to your assign menu, select wall design groups. Wall design groups are a collection of walls where the design is performed independently of the other walls within your structure, and each wall must be assigned a wall design group before the design can be performed on that particular wall. We're going to start with wall design group number one and we're going to assign it to all the walls within a particular plane that should be designed together. To assign my wall design group, we'll click on the single button, and then we'll select all of the wall panels that I want to be assigned in that wall group. I'm gonna repeat this process until all of the walls are assigned to a particular wall group. To return back to that previous dialog, I'm just gonna right click, brings me right back to the Assign Wall Design Groups dialog. We're going to enter Wall Design Group number two, and then again click on our single button. And again, we'll repeat this process for Wall Design Group three. And finally, wall design group four. Next, we'll assign our section cuts. We have two options for adding section cuts. We can add them automatically or manually. Now, section cuts are cross sections of shear wall within a design group where the design forces and wall capacity calculations are performed. We're going to use the automatic feature for assigning our section cuts. And here you can see we can specify section cuts anywhere we want along the length of the wall. We're going to go ahead and create a horizontal cut at the top and bottom of the wall along with ends. And as I hover over each of these options, I can see that the section cuts turn in red to give me more information about what that particular section cuts will do. We can also create them around openings. The next thing we need to do is enter the maximum section cut spacing. We're going to enter 72 inches for the horizontal and vertical spacing. Now you can tighten this up if you choose to, to have a smaller spacing. Just note that the more section cuts you have, the longer your analysis time may take. We're going to also offset from the edge of wall opening of six inches. Once you are done, we'll go ahead and click on the all button and it's going to search all the walls and prepare where the section cuts will be. And again, these are cross sections of the shear wall within each design group where the design forces and wall capacity calculations will be performed. And that'll help the program determine what the reinforcement is at any location along the length of the wall. Next, we will assign our bar pattern templates. Bar pattern templates contain predefined shear wall reinforcement patterns. When a design is performed on a wall design group that has a bar pattern template assigned, the RAM Concrete Shear Wall module will select the optimum bar pattern within the requirements of the bar pattern template. Assigning bar pattern templates will be a two-step process. We first need to edit the bar pattern templates and then assign them to the section cuts. To begin, we'll go to our Assign menu and then select Edit Bar Pattern Templates. Here we're going to specify our horizontal and vertical bar arrangement. We'll go, say, from number three bars for the minimum size to number eights.
we could enter a maximum and minimum spacing and also a spacing increment. We're going to specify our number of curtains as two, and then we'll select the checkbox to automatically generate the name or label of this bar pattern template. Once we're done, we'll go ahead and click on the Add button, and you can add as many bar pattern templates as you're going to need for your particular model. We're just going to work with one bar pattern template for this training. Once you are done creating your bar pattern templates, you're ready to assign them to your section cuts. We'll go back up to our Assign menu, select Bar Pattern Templates, and we'll see now that our bar pattern template that we just created is now available. We can assign it to a single section cut or we can assign it to all of them. We'll go ahead and click on the All button to assign those bar pattern templates. Next, we are going to assign our wall panel priority. A wall panel priority is used to define the controlling wall panel when two or more wall panels intersect on plan. The vertical reinforcement for the wall with the highest priority will extend to the edge of the wall, while the vertical reinforcement for the wall with the lower priority will stop at the face of that intersection. And you can see in our sample model, we have several situations where we have intersecting walls at corners where the wall panel priority will assist the program to determine which wall would govern at that overlapping area. We're going to enter a wall panel priority of one, and then we're going to select our longer shear walls. So we'll click on our single, and we'll click on our first wall design group and wall design group number three. We'll right click to return back to the same area and we're going to enter a wall panel priority of two. And then again, we'll click on our single button and we'll select wall design group two and wall design group four. Now the wall panel with the higher priority will govern at those intersecting areas, which means that our shorter two-story shear walls will actually govern in the overlapping areas of these corners. The last properties that we're going to assign are our coupling beams. So we're going to go to our Assign menu once again and select Coupling Beams. Coupling beams are regions within a wall panel that are bounded above and below by one or more wall opening or a wall panel edge. Coupling beams allow regions within the wall that are dominated by flexural response to be detailed accordingly. Coupling beams can contain top and bottom bars, sidebars, and stirrups. Also, coupling beams engage the prescriptions of the selected design code pertinent to headers and coupling beams for their respective region of the wall. When a design is performed, the coupling beams will be checked for in shear, in plane shear, axial flexural loads, and code prescriptive reinforcement limits. To assign our coupling beams, we'll have to view the wall in elevation mode. So we'll go up to our view toolbar, we'll select our elevation view icon, and we'll select our wall design group two, the one with the openings. Now we can go ahead and assign our coupling beams. To assign a coupling beams, we can add them one at a time, or within this elevation, we can assign it to all of the beam members. So we'll go ahead and say add all. After you're done assigning your coupling beams, you can return back to your 3D view of your model. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.